to truly great is when you understand not just when to use your not just when your item needs to hit, but when it needs to be used in order for it not to. That being said, though, coming in as an item character against a character like Falco and a player like Tilde, I expect Hayes to have a little bit more of a troublesome time pulling out the banana as we move on into game one of Loser's Finals. You know what I would be shocked if we see, though, this set? The Rob. Because not only is Rob an even better matchup for Falco, you know, you know who Tilde's training partner is? Dill or Zamba? I was gonna say Zamba, but yeah, Dill works too. This man plays Rob's like nobody's business. I mean, especially when you're in Tri-State, you kind of gotta know that that sort of matchup. Yeah, you gotta be actually robotic. You gotta be absolutely robotic at it, if I do say so myself. All right, Tilde now off stage, but kept the jump, so he's gonna be able to swing his way out with the neutral air, but Hayes with the pickup, he's gonna be getting first blood in Loser's Finals. And, and beautiful DI there up and a way to find his way away from that back air. Now, all of a sudden, Tilde holding the shield for so long, but the banana bouncing off of it, gonna still find the trip forward, struggles, the full-on scrap, just gonna look like it might be set. Hayes getting out of the potentially scary situation because of the banana, still got put in disadvantage, but Tilde a little bit antsy. The pressure is still on. This is now Hayes' opportunity again. Could he go up three stocks to one here? This is looking dominant in his favor right now. This banana is looking like a full-on third player right now as it gets Hayes out of so many situations. Another down tilt into dash tech, extending with the banana, but Tilde finally swinging out of things with the down tilt. And even though that banana is going to be the one everyone remembers because Tilde used it to get the game, he went for a banana drop footstool into banana catch before, and even though it didn't hit, I respect the attempt. Looking for the back air there to close things out, now it or sorry, to not close things out, take stage control. Oh. The, the damage is racking on. Hayes the, being the one trying to close things out on the second stock. But uh, just one Falco combo away. This is a potential opening. Using the banana to reset the, and extend. Not going to find the spike. I to get the combo he wanted. So going to have to settle for whatever might come. Tilde now scrambling to find a way back into this one. And this is his opportunity. A throw up air. Not going to be taking it quite yet. But Tilde now with banana in hand. But Hayes still able to fight through. He is not scared at all of people throwing banana on his shield. Oh, he really isn't. The little low profiling and her box shifting action there as both players, both characters juke around each other. Or the level of awareness for each other's movement in this set so far has been insane. And even though it's Hayes coming out on top of that second stop, uh, remember, Tilde was down a full stop just moments ago and all of a sudden, this game is almost back to even. Tilde is just about 4% away from a kill now. Now, he is so incredibly close. One opening. Bananas in his favor. Er, er. Til it's going to be really hard for Hayes to close this, to, to not lose this stock. Uh, and racking on extra credit, he's already done as much as he could possibly want. And closing out I don't know. I think he might be getting a little bit more out of that what? stock. What? 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 I was going to say, this man's already done as much as he could want. But uh, Tilde saying, you know what? You know what? I like some fried chicken. How about you? Yeah, it's not, you know, sometimes, you know, just reach for the stars. Never, never give up on like, how much you can get, get the down out of the double your jump, carrying credit. him just a little high pass led. A rare mistake from the master of the spacey recovery. Tilde has some of the best angles, best jump timings of anyone you'll ever see force. But. Even he just sometimes presses the jump button a little too early. Yeah, and I mean, this is, we are in best of five territory and it is 10 p.m. So gotta wonder if maybe just the tournament fatigue is starting to set in as Tilde, like you were saying, an uncharacteristically kind of lazy recovery there is gonna be costing him game one. But I, right now he's looking plenty awake. I was gonna say, I wouldn't call I've called it lazy. I was just, I just think he, he messed up. It happens. It's, it's, and there now we're seeing like right, some of those movement mix up. He's playing full pace. It feels like he's playing Falco almost and not Fo or Fox and not Falco with the way he's empty hopping left, right, and center. Or right, keeping you guessing, forcing all of these swings. It feels like Hayes is playing against a ghost right now because he's unable to hit, find any material body to hit. That long lasting shine hitbox, even after the, the actual hitbox had passed, 
Taves tried to throw the banana, and unfortunately that interaction is, is going to be netting Tilde the stock. Uh, and Tilde remembering, hold on, hold on guys. Uh -oh. I remembered, I, I, I can just win here. Like, I'm just good enough to make it happen. It does not matter who you are with a beautiful first stock. Hayes, though, with the potential to open things back up. However, that frame one reflector is going to put a damper in his combo extender. And all of a sudden, Tilde has another chance to get out of disadvantage and continue to rack up extra credit. He's already done 50%, but how much more can he get here for us? All right, putting the banana in his favor once again. Hayes not phased in the slightest. Yeah, and then right. putting the stage control back into his own hands. Now has a ledge trapping opportunity, but just a little bit too early on the banana pull until he's able to make his way back into center stage. Now with full rage, very scary. Not quite on town and city, yeah. but... I was gonna say that high town and city blast zone. Um, I feel like anyone who's ever heard me talk about Smash Bros. gets sick of it, me mentioning it, but man, that's because it's relevant. And, and that blast zone um, saves so many people off the top and doing so there against Hayes. But Tilde at 170, certainly no stranger to death himself, but somehow staving it off to go up three stocks to one in turn. Flashbacks from game one right now, but this time it's Tilde and not Hayes, who feels impossible to kill. Yeah, a reverse story from game one as Tilde hangs on to this first stock with 177% thrown out the shine, maybe trying to catch the barrels on the approach. But yeah, and this could be it with a back. He was trying to read a fastball there with a back air. You saw him just jump mm -hmm. and fade in like that. He wasn't able to find it, losing the stock. But hey, I took two full stocks and 60% on, on your last one before losing my first stock. I'm pretty okay with that if I'm Tilde. Yeah, Tilde is definitely chilling in this game too. But Hayes still not going down without a fight. Right, another banana at the ledge, trying to get himself some uh, some space. And Tilde trying to find the snipe on barrels with banana, not going to do it, but going to just call out the down tilt. Il Beautiful game number two. Tilde came boring back into it, forced the one-one counter pick advantage on the line here, and two games to go for mm -hmm. either of these players until they fight. The one waiting in the shadows, the one waiting in the wings, House of 3000's very own Jonathan Numbers. It really is like the ending of, of like an arcade mode. John Numbers is sort of our Shao Kahn. Yeah, I mean, John Numbers is our bison. Yeah. And bison. <laughs> Honestly, all things considered, he's, that, wait, he's, he's a little more like Omega Rugal. I was going to say, if, if, if John Numbers is M. Bison, does that make Helper? Does, it, does that make Helper JP? Oh, JP? <laughs> I think Helper is JP in that world. I don't know. In, in terms of arcade final boss, I think John Numbers is definitely looking a little more SNK boss. But John Numbers is not quite on screen just yet as we move on into game three. Hayes' counterpick of Kalos. And I actually really like this stage for him. Very large blast zones. The walls to abuse Diddy's wall cling. And yeah, Falco has a wall jump, but eh. So it goes with the territory. Like, these blast zones that make not, that don't really impact Diddy's ability to edge guard you because of banana, but do significantly impact Falco's. Plus the big open space that he can flip jump over and just control the pace of the game. And I think this is the perfect stage for Hayes to take a till day two. Absolutely. And as well, mentioning the walls, we were talking before about Tilde is just so good at recovering with Falco, but he doesn't have any stage to hide under anymore. Yeah, he gets limited high because of those platforms. He gets limited low because of those walls. He's forced into a very limited set of angles that all of a sudden Hayes has a banana and can just drop in and occupy that whole space. There is nowhere for this bird to hide. He has to fight a Hayes' Diddy Kong head on until they doing so with an up smash, but has a lot of work left to do if he wants to pull away and take counter attack advantage in this set. Yeah, not quite finding that same extra credit that we saw in game one. We are now at a dead even game three. So let's see Hayes pulling out the banana, but once again, back into Tilde's hands, but it's always just right back into Hayes's. It feels like any time Tilde grabs the banana, to make it his own and take away Diddy Kong's resource, 
Hayes just finds it right back in his hands three seconds later. And the rapid jab finisher from Tilde, recognizing that was the only hitbox that would catch Hayes there. Absolutely gorgeous stuff. Now he's just trying to wall him out. Creates some pressure this game three, while games one and two were slobber, which is absolute slaughterhouses in one direction. This one's a dead even slobber knocker. These two are going at it as Tilde lines it up, and it's the wall jump coming to his rescue this time. And there Hayes' walls came back to bite him, and now Tilde has an opportunity to really open up this set. Hayes, unfortunately, just getting a little bit too aggressive there on the edge guard, and Tilde smelling the blood in the water like a shark. But Hayes actually able to make that recovery back and still continue fighting in this game three, but it is a mountain and a half to climb. Dude, Tilde has missed an uncharacteristic amount of those down airs tonight, and that is for certain. Has also had an uncharacteristic amount of just weird DI choices from multiple of the players in the top part of this bracket. Uh, Tilde there with another one to just explode, but now with Hayes at kill percent or very close with no rage. I mean, it's going to be a hard press for Hayes to find counter pick advantage. It's certainly possible, especially if he continues these advantage states. But he needs to cook something special up and fast. All right, the laser to extend this sequence off stage. But Hayes able to able to find now a potential edge guard of his own. But the platform, oh god, excuse me, the platform's coming through. And now just the lasers, you've got to force higher low. Till they're gonna miss the tech, but only at 69%. There's not a lot left for Hayes to do until Tilde's at kill percent, keeping him trapped in the corner. Nowhere to go. Beautiful mix up to find his way out of dodge and force. I mean, we are getting pushed to our last couple minutes, but down till gonna be Tilde's MVP once again. Game two, game three, even game one when he really needed it, it has been the button that has cleaned up those stocks on Hayes. And I'm really interested to see how he adjusts his usage of it going forward to catch Hayes out from adapting. And, I mean, that really looked like Hayes' game to win there. Wait, Has, did he just, sorry, he did, did he, he just did walk up slowly and down tilt? He, he walked away, he down, that. yeah, he walked up slowly and down tilted. As Hayes down tilted in the wrong direction. Yeah. Right. with some wild movement once again. We are talking about inverse numbers, right? That's what he does when he gets comfortable. Mm-hmm. All right, Hayes bringing us right back to Kalos. Tilde feeling it just a little bit comfortable as he did take game three. Getting these down airs again. A third one, just for yeah. fun. Well, he's warming up to, to hit those spikes for his numbers. That's my take on it, mm -hmm. right? He's dropped so many of them throughout the tournament tonight that I think he's trying to just clean them up, keep, make sure he gets his precision on lock. And he's looking to take this game number four in dominant fashion. Getting forced to a game five here, even if he wins, Great tech. would be terrible for him. Yeah, beautiful DI too to force the tech scenario against that move that's straight down. Oh, that I think was supposed to be a runoff forward air. Unfortunately for Hayes, Tilde is going to be holding on to this first stock. And the Kalos counterpick really kind of coming back to bite Hayes as Tilde lives several interactions thanks to this wall jump. Already, it seems like, I think, three. I think there were three interactions where Tilde should have been dead, but wall jump was there. Yep, and but we talked a lot about how it limits the fire or bird angles for Falco, but it does also, as we mentioned, give him that wall jump. And with how creative Tilde has been off stage, it's really been his wall jump and not Diddy's wall jumps or wall fling that has really been the difference maker in this set. Yeah, we haven't really seen Hayes get the chance to do that wall fling at all. All right, banana in hand right now for Hayes as he tries to make his way back into center stage. The banana reaching the platform, but Tilde once again finding that back air and now is one stock away. Not just a back air, a slingshot back air. Mm -hmm. Very important to point out the only way that on that DI up tilt back air will it confirm, and it's the only way you can get it to true confirm to send into the blast zone in that position. And beautiful stuff from Tilde with all the movement tech being busted out when it matters most. Reflecting the banana to make it easier to grab and now applying the pressure, forcing Hayes to take extra time to re-grab the banana, oh, which limited his, his, his advantage state and allowed Tilde to then reset to neutral. This is just gorgeous stuff from him. He is in firm con control of this game and, well, firm control of the ticket to grand finals because... We're at least getting 10 games of 
until they draw numbers. <laughs> we are, in fact, maybe fifteen. We are, we are absolutely Wait. in the long haul. Dog, of how many games before you go? How many games is Grand Finals? He John said seven. seven games. John said seven games of Grand Finals. Do you think we're gonna get a three game set and a four game set? A four game set and a three game set or a five? Well, I guess we can't. But five, <laughs> five to two. two. <laughs> Quick, Zeno has to close. It's the best of three and three set. <laughs> oh, no. Should open a poll in chat. See what chat thinks. Over under on seven. Over under on seven. And you heard if, it here first. If it is seven, then no one gets paid. <laughs> <laughs>